So this right here is an IBM X41, and I'm pretty sure this computer is from around 2005, making it a full-on 13 years old. This computer is now the same age as teenagers out there, which is kind of mind-blowing. But uh, I had this sitting in my garage from a county auction where I bought a lot of I don't know how many computers, and I think I have a use for it now. I'm working on building a computer that'll run uh, almost like a clone of a Delphi scan tool that'll go through OBD2 code. And since IBM ThinkPads are kind of the gold standard in terms of utility computers, I mean I remember seeing these things everywhere in the mid to late 2000s in like doctor's offices, uh, mechanics shops, and it seems like this might be a good computer to use for a scan tool build. So step one is to just show you the computer itself, and then step two is to get it working. So this is the X41. But unlike other computers, this is a very special X41 because it is the it's the T model, which means it can convert into a tablet. It has a fingerprint sensor, all the control buttons here, and unlike most modern touchscreen computers, it does require a pen for the screen to work. The pen is currently missing, but I will find it or buy a new one. But as far as computers go, this is this is that time in the early 2000s when things were really quirky and weird, and I kind of like that. So the current plan is to stick a new hard drive in it because uh, when they uh, sell these computers off as surplus, they get rid of all the hard drive for obvious security reasons. Actually, no. Step one is going to see if this thing even boots. So I ended up buying this cheap Chinese clone charger on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description down below. It looks like it could be real but it's clearly missing any and all branding definitely a Chinese clone but as long as it works I'll be happy up oh, there it is and let's see if this computer boots we have lights we have IBM and MM. is it frozen on this screen or is it just really slow up oh, there it is let's see Broadcom UNDI PXE 2.1 yada 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 copyright Broadcom yay Broadcom code copyright blah, blah. media disk uh, media test failure check cable exiting no, operating system not found perfect so since this computer does not have a hard drive it's kind of obvious to assume that there is no operating system on it and therefore I'm going to deem it as working well now there are a couple weird things about this computer number one it uses a 1.8 inch IDE hard drive there are a couple options here I could go and find a 1.8 inch IDE hard drive for an IBM computer but that's gonna be hard to do and they're probably gonna be old and they'll probably break like six months in because they're 15 years old I mean, I don't think I've ever had a computer that uses an IDE. Oh wait, no, yeah, I did. Never mind. So that's option one. IDE hard drive, 1.8 inch, expensive, hard to find, probably will break. Option two is these two boxes right here. This is an IBM IDE to uh, MSATA adapter that I got off of Newegg. Uh, I can't remember the price right now, but I think it was like nine or thirteen dollars. Pretty cheap. And then this is a 120 gigabyte. MSATA SSD, obviously. And it was also very cheap. I can't remember the price right now because I did order these a while ago. But the current plan is going to be to remove the palm rest, figure out what's going on inside, take the screws out, uh, stick this little guy together, and pop it in here and load up Windows 10 32-bit. Uh, should be a pretty interesting thing to do. And if it does work out, then I'll move on to ordering the Delphi scan tool, or the Chinese copy of the Delphi scan tool. Okay, so uh, the interest in full disclosure, to uh, replace the hard drive on this computer, you don't actually have to remove the palm rest, but uh, since I'm going to be replacing with a much smaller little circuit board thing, I want to make sure it's all plugged in very securely. So um, normally you just pop this thing open right here, and uh, you can replace the hard drive in there. But again, I want to clean it out, make sure there's nothing else, plus there's something rattling around inside this computer. I'm pretty sure those are the rest of the palm rest. I don't want them grounding out on some circuit and causing a mild issue, so let's get started. Pull this thing apart. Okay, so here are the series of screws. Okay, so now that the palm rest is off enough that I have access to the pins right here, I'm going to begin to assemble the hard drive. Okay, so here's the little adapter, and here is a 120 gigabyte hard drive, which I believe is much larger than it had originally. So step one is to take off these two little screws right here. Two is to insert said hard disk and pop it right in there. 
There it is. Now let's see if it fits. Probably the most important part of this whole process. Now again, you can see as I'm able to slide this up right here. Now let's plug this thing back in and see if it still turns on. Or if this time it'll at least detect a hard drive. Let's screw everything back together and hope it works. Okay, so now I'm going to hook the power cable up. And hopefully this computer will detect the 120 gigabyte hard drive and run no hard drive lights blinking yet so that's a little worrying but you know so it wasn't able to detect the hard drive i wonder why, i wonder why that was okay we'll figure this out and i'll be back the bootable flash drive in the ibm x41 and let's see if it boots into the bootloader come on bootloader Oh wow, can this computer do 64-bit and 30? Let's try 64-bit. Nope, there we go. Okay, so this computer cannot do 64-bit. So, the 32-bit it is. Well, that was interesting. I figured out what the problem was. I actually had this whole little chip set up upside down. So I've taken the computer back apart, swapped it around, and hopefully it will work. I was quite surprised to see the IDE cable is actually symmetrical. That caught me off guard. So let's hope it gives me the hard drive message now. Let's see what this say. Hard disk drive you have installed has not been qualified for use in this computer or does not match the latest firmware. It's just really cough and all issues. God damn it, it's still doing it. After attempting to install Windows 10 for a while, I've kind of decided against it. And uh, after trying to install Windows 10 and getting a blue screen over and over, I've kind of decided against it and chosen to go with Windows XP, which is what this machine originally came with. So let's hope this works now. I've put uh, our Windows XP bootable flash drive in there. Let's see how it works. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think I'm press enter. Can that work? Okay, looks like it's formatting Windows XP Professional. Shouldn't be too hard to get this done. Is it weird I have a bit of a nostalgic feeling doing this for Windows XP? Plus, the other good part is it does come with a uh, code key on the back for it, so I don't need to pay the extra 30 bucks for another Windows 10 key. Now, obviously, this computer is not going to be hooked up to the internet because, for main reasons, I don't want viruses. Uh, it's actually just going to be used strictly for the scan tool and running that kind of stuff. So it shouldn't be an issue at all. This computer pretty much lacks the hardware to do anything else. Okay, so it looks like we're booting into Windows XP. I just realized I got the wrong version of Windows. I also want to try and use this mouse. Oh my god, it works! That's so crazy. 39 minutes. Okay, I'm going to let that happen. I did end up getting this computer to run on Windows XP. Uh, everything seems to be working. I'm just going to install some drivers. And this will be the end of part one of this video. Uh, if you like this video, hit like. If you want to see the rest of it, hit subscribe. And I'll be uploading it maybe in about a week or two. I still have to order the Delphi scan tool. And I'm going to buy a battery for this computer. Uh, probably buy a used pen off eBay. Or a new pen. Whatever they got. And that'll be about it. Like I said, if you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more on the rest of this computer build, hit subscribe and do whatever else you do on the internet. Have a good one.